Hello, comrades, and welcome back to Shanka Show. Здравствуйте, дорогие товарищи. My name is Sergey, and I was born in the USSR. My special thanks и огромное спасибо to all my supporters on Patreon.com. Thank you, comrades. It's greatly appreciated. And today, due to the popular demand, uh, we're going to talk about life of the handicapped people in the Soviet Union. To be honest, I'm not sure why people were so interested in such topic, but it is what it is. So uh, here we go, uh, life of the Soviet handicapped people. So let's learn a new Russian word. Invalid. Invalid. So that means handicapped person. And I believe that word probably came from French language because I recall seeing something like Invalid's uh, house or something like that in Paris. So I decided to start my story about handicapped people in Soviet Union by introducing you guys to Ivan Kurtov. Uh, he was a Soviet photographer, professional photographer. He worked for a um, news agency in Soviet Union and he made this famous picture in 1989. It's a very, very powerful picture, although it was staged. Uh, it was taken in Leningrad, as I mentioned, in 1989. And it shows a veteran of World War II, an invalid, as you see, Anatoly Galimbiyevsky, and uh, three sailor cadets and their officer paying respect uh, to this veteran. So when Ivan Kurtov took this photo, and once again, it's 1989, so this is right at the end of the life of the Soviet Union. Gorbachev had power, we got Perestroika, we got Glasnost. So he took this photo uh, to show to his newspaper. He worked at that time also for Leningradskaya Pravda, the Leningrad Truth. But their um, editor refused uh, to publish that picture, this beautiful photo, because he said we cannot uh, show handicapped people on the newspaper pages. So keep that in mind. Editor refused to publish a picture with the handicapped person. But Ivan uh, Kurta was a persistent person and he knew he had something very, very uh, good. So he took it to a different newspaper called Smyrna. And at that time, that newspaper was the most liberal, I guess we can say it that way, in Leningrad at that time. And what happened next was history. Readers loved the photo. It became so popular that other newspapers started reprinting it. It went all over Soviet Union. And then, as a result, um, Ivan Kurtov actually won a first place. So he won a gold medal at the World Press uh, Photo Competition. So that was admitted as the best picture of that year, of 1989. So once again, let's take a look at this photo very carefully and just think about it. Do you see anything kind of out of place, something unusual maybe for you? You're looking at the veteran of the war, decorated veteran. His name, once again, Anatoly Golumbievsky, and he was a sailor, Navy sailor and engine mechanics uh, from the destroyer Sabrazitelny during the World War II, as, or as we call it in the Soviet Union, Great uh, Patriotic War, Velika Atechstna Vaina. When his ship got damaged, uh, he volunteered into the naval infantry or and they call them in America Marines and he was one of the uh, first sailors that attacked the beachhead by Novorossiysk in February of 1943. It was so-called Battle of Malaya Zimlya, can translate as a little land. Later in the early 80s it became very famous because Leonid Brezhnev, our leader, was part of that operation. During that horrible battle, um, he was actually the only survivor of, from the very first group of Marines, and he got shot into both legs, but uh, they couldn't evacuate him for seven days, so when they finally uh, got him off the Malay Zimla, they had to amputate uh, both of his legs because of the hangrene. I think I said the word right. For his bravery, uh, he got awarded with quite a few different medals, Orden Lenina, one of the highest awards in the Soviet Union. Orden Oktyabrskaya Revolutsiya, October Revolution Award. A total of three Orden Atechstnaya Vayny 
first and second grade. So it's the Patriotic War Award, first and second grade. I'm not sure what the difference, but he got three of those. Ordian Krasnay Zvizdi, Red Star Award, Medal Zabaronu Odessi for defending Odessa. That's the seaport in Ukraine. And also a medal for defending Kavkaz region, Zabaronu Kavkaza. And now let's go back to our picture. I wonder what was your thought, guys, when you saw it for the very first time? You know, I showed this picture uh, to one of my uh, co-workers, he's American, and he thought, his first thought was that was Photoshop. Because Americans usually don't see their handicapped people sitting that low. And he kind of like, well, usually it's like a Civil War veterans used to be riding those little cards. But you know, for the Soviet person, for like a guy like me who grew up in the Soviet Union, this is normal. This is what I saw. I mean, we didn't have a lot of people missing both legs, but if somebody that's severely handicapped, that will be the card. It almost looks like a little moving dolly uh, that our handicapped people used, and it's handmade. In Soviet Union, they did not manufacture wheelchairs for handicapped people. So you have to find somebody who can bring you some ball bearings from work. You know, you have to steal it, and then you just build that little wooden platform, and then you have those two little uh, push uh, devices for your hands so you don't scratch your hands on the pavement. So let's think about it. Let's put it into perspective, I would say. This is 1989, 44 years after... Soviet Union won the war against Nazi Germany. So in 1957, in October, the Soviets launched the very first satellite, Sputnik. So only 12 years after the end of the war, we managed to beat America into space race. Less than four years later, on April 12, 1961, the Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the very first Man in space, once again, Soviets beat America in space race. Around the same time, in 1959, the Soviet Union launched the very first in the world surface nuclear ship, nuclear icebreaker Lenin. Moving along, in 1966, the Soviets designed and built this science fiction project, ground effect plane, that got a nickname Caspian Monster. 1969, the Soviets successfully landed on the moon Luna Hod, the very first remote control robot in space. And this list of amazing achievements of the Soviet Union goes on and on and on. But guess what? By 1989, the Soviet industry still didn't figure out how to build basic wheelchairs for its handicapped people, for its heroes of the World War II. And then if you noticed, I mentioned earlier that photographer Ivan Kurtov, when he brought his picture to the first newspaper, his newspaper, Leningradska Pravda, the editor said, we don't publish photos of people with disabilities. So this is really interesting because that goes way back in history. And I'm not sure if anyone noticed uh, that we talked about Soviet people who traveled abroad. There was one interesting uh, recommendation from the Communist Party leaders. So during the selection process, when you look at the applications for people who would like to travel, uh, there was a preference not to send anyone who has some visible disabilities. So basically, Soviet leaders wanted present Soviet people abroad like they just stepped off the propaganda posters, not real people. But let's go back to the main character of our story, Anatoly Galimbievsky. His life story is actually quite amazing. Uh, while he was in the hospital after his legs got amputated, uh, he managed to impress a nurse so much that she fell in love with him and married him, being amputee, and they spent the rest of their lives together had two kids and he got a job uh, in Leningrad and did quite well for his conditions. 
I think he was one of those rare people, you know, like one in a million that uh, loved life so much that he, despite his severe disability, still managed to uh, succeed and be happy, have family and so on. Anatoly was also a very handy guy and he managed to figure out how to convert his little Zaporozhets car uh, so he can drive it without uh, need to use legs that he didn't have for the pedals on the floor. But Anatoly was probably more than a, like exception from the rule and thousands of other handicapped people in the Soviet Union, they didn't have uh, such luck or determination, so they went on the path of drinking, gambling, begging, but that's the topic for my next video. Well, comrades, that's all I got for you for today. I hope you enjoyed this story and maybe learned something new. If you have any questions, please uh, post below this video. Don't forget to like it. It always helps to promote according to YouTube magic algorithms. And we'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye. Hey, by the way, a cool merch for cool comrades is available at the Ushanka store at teespring.com. Just a friendly reminder that my book American Diaries is available on Amazon.com or shoot me an email if you would like to have a signed copy. Thank you. And if you love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Ushanka Show. For as little as one dollar, you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet 